how to come to Spain as a student in 2023. Hi everyone, my name is Alicia Rua, I'm a lawyer at Immigration Spain and in this video I will talk to you about all the advantages I find as com coming as a student to Spain. Advantages, requirements the, for the permit and the procedure, since I consider is one of the best and easiest way to begin your life in Spain. Before beginning the video, if you want to keep informed about all our immigration matters and updated information about regulation, procedures, etc., do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we upload videos every week. Very useful and informative videos, okay? So don't forget to subscribe and click in the link below. So what would be the advantages of coming to Spain with a student visa? From my perspective, it's the easiest way to come to Spain at the beginning. Why? Firstly, the economical and financial requirements of the permit. We just need to prove we have sufficient funds to support ourselves individually in accordance to 100% of the EPREM in 2023, which is 600 euros per month. This means, for instance, a student visa for one year period, we just need to prove we have sufficient funds as 7,000 euros 7,200 actually, to support ourselves with a bank certificate or family support. Second advantage, the student visa, it's a permit that allows you to modify later to a work permit. It's one of the easiest and smoothest way to change from a student to work. Why? In accordance with the latest modifications of the immigration law, a student has fulfilled uh, its studies in Spain, it's eligible now to apply for a work permit for an internship type of permit and even to an autonomous type of permit, which is freelance option of, of work permit. So this is actually very, very advantageous in the sense of coming to Spain as a student. It's an easy way to later try to stay in Spain and actually work. Thirdly, another advantage of the student visa is that it can be applied from the consulate, from the Spanish consulate in the country of origin or from Spain within your first 60 days of entry into the Schengen area. We're going to verify this with the stamps in the passport, boarding pass, etc. The fourth advantage and the most important to bear in mind is that since the recent modification of the immigration regulation last year, if you come to study as a student to do superior academic studies like masters, PhD, any course that it's considered superior studies, the student visa itself already allows you to work in Spain 30 hours per week. So after knowing now all the advantages a student visa holds when you come to Spain as a student, let me talk to you about the requirements, okay? First requirement, complete copy of the passport. Why is the complete copy of the passport in all pages? Because the immigration office needs to verify the entry stamp because they will verify we're actually applying within the first 60 days of your entry into the Schengen area with the ent this entry stamp or booking, uh, booking of the flight. Any way we need to prove entry into Spain and to be actually within the first 60 days in the Schengen area, not only in Spain, okay? If I have entered Spain and I already spent 20 days in Italy, this is already counting my 60. So this is something to bear in mind. Second requirement and the most important, of course, if I'm coming to Spain as a student, I need a course, something I'm going to study. If I have enrolled myself in a language course, the most important thing to bear in mind is the course needs to be at least 20 hours per week, minimum classes and I need to attend to classes, okay? We cannot use online courses to apply for a student visa. There is no such a thing, otherwise you wouldn't need a visa to enter, I mean, to be actually physically in Spain. So, 20 hours per week, attend to classes. The institute, the language institute, has to be accredited by the Instituto Cervantes, okay? The administrative office in Spain that regulates all the language institutes. With regard of the course, okay, the documents we need to submit when we're going to submit our application for a student visa are syllabus, study program okay everything our course is going to include and what is it that we are going to study the receipt of payment of the course this is very important and the admission letter this admission letter is the one that needs to include that we need to attend to classes and the classes we are going to take related to this course is going to be minimum 20 hours per week as i stated before third requirement we need to hire private health insurance with a spanish operator this is very important okay sometimes when we apply from country of origin they can accept international type of uh, health insurance but if we're going to do it from spain or most of the time and it is our advice we already hire the private health insurance with a spanish operator there are many many health insurance companies and spanish operators here in spain it's just a matter to do some research and the most important about the health insurance it has to be 
full coverage, no co-payment type of policies. It has to be full coverage. Fourth requirement, we need to prove we have sufficient funds to support ourselves in, Sp in Spain. How do we do this? The easiest way to do it is to prove with our funds that we have at least 7,200 euros in a bank account. If we're applying from country of origin, we can use our account in country of origin to prove the funds, okay? If we are directly applying from Spain, I need the funds to be already in a Spanish bank and we will need a bank certificate from the Spanish bank that certified we have this minimum available balance in our account. Something to bear in mind, the amount of money to prove that we can support ourselves economically in Spain while holding the student visa is strictly related with how long our course is gonna be. If I'm coming to Spain to study or do a master, which the length is only of eight months, I need to prove the equivalent to eight months in my bank account, okay? If I'm coming for a year, I need to prove the 7,200 uh, euros in the bank account. Another way of proof economical support, okay? It can be from a family member, but family member, okay, means parents or partner it cannot be an aunt some other third person no the only range of people that can support us economically for the purpose of the student visa okay fifth requirement we're gonna need a medical certificate that states that we have no no diseases listed in an international convention of 2005. Sixth requirement for the student visa. If we are going to study in Spain for a period longer than six months, our course, for instance, is for six months, two days, 187 days. A mandatory requirement is our background check from country of origin. If we're planning to apply for a seven month course, eight month course, 12 month course, we need to submit background check criminal records from country of origin. Okay, so now information about the procedure. As I mentioned before, you have two options to apply for the student visa. You can do it from country of origin, or the second option is to apply directly from Spain within the first 60 days of your entry, entry stamp in Schengen area. When you're gonna apply before the consulate, you cannot apply before 90 days of the uh, initiation of your course, okay? You can only apply within the the previous night. When you do it from Spain, you have options. You can do it through Correos, etc. But it, it is our advice actually uh, to do it through a lawyer with a digital certificate. The procedure is faster and you are certain no notification is going to get lost in the process. It's very important. In sum, this will be everything about the student visa and the things to bear in mind when you're planning on thinking to apply to, to come to Spain as a student. If you need any other information or you need extra info or more detail, do not uh, hesitate to contact us at info at immigrationspain.es and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel since we weekly upload videos with a lot of information, okay? Thank you very much for having me staying with me during this video and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.